All right. Uh, something that you don't really hear come out of me very often, and that's fishing with natural baits. So you're not going to hear it again. You're going to hear it from Brandon. We're going to talk a little bit about what are the top three natural bait fish that make excellent forage for a shallow water grouper. What would they be? Um, I We're looking say, at a pinfish trap here. Yeah, so um, <laughs> pinfish, of course, and then if you get the squirrel fish or pig fish as well um, in your traps, they work really, really good. And then some days on the cold, colder, slower days, um, you can't beat a dead threadfin herring. I mean, just on the bottom, it's something that's an always a go-to if it's a really slow day or if you're fishing a deeper ledge or anything. I mean, you can let it soak and let them get the scent a little bit. Um, I do like to, when I'm getting my pinfish, instead of having to throw a net, I do trap them. Mm -hmm. um, does it keep them in better shape? And um, Doesn't get your boat dirty for one. Well, that's always it's important. A little, it's a little bit quicker. I mean, you can pull eight or 10 traps and you'll have plenty of bait. I go with a little bit, this here is a taller trap. They make a, most, a lot of people use like about a half size of this, a smaller trap. I like the bigger one. It seems to catch more bait. Um, and it seems to catch a little bit better. You have a bigger funnel here, so you get a little bit of the bigger hand size pinfish. Pin so that makes a big difference. Um, just something I prefer to do rather than cast net in my bait every morning. That's right. I don't blame you there, especially when it's cold here. Yep. That covers natural bait.